Hey everybody, I'm so excited to show you this Godzilla Mini PC. It has an Intel Celeron J4125 processor uh, that can ramp up to 2.7 gigahertz. It's got Windows 10 already pre-installed and you can uh, do a triple display output from this little mini PC. Let's go ahead and open this up and take a look. Um, this goes for $219.99 uh, right now, but there is a coupon to bring this to under $200. Uh, so if you're serious about this, uh, act now and uh, check it out on Amazon. So here's the model number right there. And you can see the high-level specs. It's got 8 gigs of RAM, 120 gigs of SSD storage. Um, but there is a slot where you can add an additional SSD as well. Um, it's got the dual-band Wi-Fi, as you can see right there. And let's take a look. Look how small this thing is. It's like a little cube that's like three by three inches. Wow, look at that. Look how gorgeous that looks. So let's see here, this is the front. This is the LED status bar. This lets you know your computer is on or when it falls asleep. Uh, on the left here, there's a power button right there, a micro SD, two USB 3 for high speed uh, data transfer, a USB 2. Coming to the back here, there's a power uh, input, another USB 2, two HDMI ports, a gigabit LAN, uh, Ethernet port, microphone, security jack, VGA if anybody still uses that, and that's pretty much the gist of it. Very good ventilation, rubberized feet uh, on the bottom here. If you unscrew this and flip this, you can take the lid off and put in an SSD, um, but that's what this is. Comes with a quick start guide. And a power uh, cord, as well as a single HDMI cable. So, pretty much all you need is a keyboard and a mouse and you're ready to go. All right, I'm gonna hook this up and set it up and show you guys how easy that is and uh, give you some first-hand impressions. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, here we go. I am capturing the screen of this Godzilla uh, mini PC and this is what you see when you first plug it in and it's so easy to set this up. Let me just show you how easy it is. So all you do is go to uh, choose your language. I'm going to choose English, um, US, your keyboard layout US, do you want to add a second? Skip. And then you just choose a Wi-Fi network. I just tell it to connect. It's connected. I'm going to hit next. And that's the beauty of Windows is it walks you through uh, with very basic input needed these days. Unlike maybe like 15 years ago, it was a lot more complex to set up Windows. It really does it for itself. You just got to tell it which network really and what kind of keyboard and region you're in. So you get the license agreement. So Windows 10 is already uh, installed. You just have to accept that. Otherwise, it won't work. Set up for personal use. Okay. Hit next. Okay, so you must have a Microsoft account apparently. So I'll create a pin. All right, so I just put in the pin. Uh, no. Do it later. Only save to my PC. So it's asking if you want to link it to your OneDrive. No thanks. I'm going to decline Cortana, but for those of you out there, you might want to reconsider that. It's like a Siri, uh, but Windows or like an Alexa, but for Windows. Uh, your privacy settings. Yeah, I'll just accept for now. And that should be it. I don't think there's anything else. Okay, so it's saying hi. 
and it's getting everything ready for us. So you basically tell it a little bit about yourself and your preferences and then Windows will do the rest. And once this is done, you can start using it right away. So it says, welcome to Windows. And this is like Windows Explorer uh, or something. I don't like it. I'm trying to keep everything here so that you can see me. Let's try Firefox. All right, so Firefox is working. Do you want to allow this to make? Yes. Please install Firefox. And did you see how fast that downloaded earlier? Okay, so there's the Firefox icon on my desktop. And I think we're done. All right, so I have Firefox installed right here. Let's go to YouTube and see what we can do there. So I'm going to search for 4K video and let's watch Costa Rica in 4k let's see what it's like Ooh, look at that and I'm gonna turn the volume down here just to make sure you can still hear me uh, hopefully you can Wow look at that look how smooth this is like this is the first time I'm watching this video on this computer. Like it, not none of this is saved in buffer or or memory or anything like that. Like it's the first time. It's just streaming, and I'm in my basement where Wi-Fi isn't even that strong. But wow, this is really impressive. Let me full screen this. Wow, the colors. Look at the colors of that frog. That's pretty amazing. Look at the detail. Oh damn, snake. This is full screen, guys, from this little mini PC, and it's less than $200. Like, this is really, really impressive. It looks great. The picture looks great. Let me hit escape, get out of that. Um, you can also go to, like, gmail.com. And, you know, it's a full browser experience, unlike on your little cell phone they give you like that little cell phone version of the website not so here you get the full version because this really is a desktop machine it's just so tiny that's all you can do your shopping on Amazon and you can see like images load nearly instantly as soon as I come to the website there's no lag or anything customer fav favorites uh, let me click on the shoe right here Look at that. The shopping experience is amazing. I'm not losing anything out of this. So f for this little mini PC, I think the target audience is people that want something simple to do simple everyday things such as checking email, uh, conference calling with other people with video chat, um, word processing, spreadsheet processing. So like Google Docs, Google Sheets or the Microsoft equivalents people that want to uh, stream videos like YouTube and things like that so uh, this is perfect for that and I would almost say it's too high powered for that um, as you can see it works very smoothly very well uh, I think that's that's you know uh, probably because it has like eight gigs of RAM not not like four or six but eight which is really good uh, and it also has 120 gigs of storage built in which is really good for people that want to do common tasks now, if you want to do more and download content and stuff like that, you can expand it with the um, uh, from the top. If you remove the top cover, you can put in another SSD drive, which I talked about earlier. Um, so this is a really good machine for today and uh, the short term future and long term. If you want to do more with it, you have some uh, expandability options, right? So uh, I like that it has the two fork, um, the two HDMI outputs. Uh, so that you can get like two HD devices hooked up to this one little machine. Uh, you can even do a third with a VGA, but I don't recommend using VGA anymore at this point. Um, but this is really nice. You get this with a wireless mouse, a wireless keyboard that you provide on your own. You know, you know something like this. Um, and you got a nice little media PC even. So if you want to like stream content off of this to your uh, big screen TV, that's possible because it has HDMI outputs. Um, and this thing runs silent. Um, 
it's like you know the the background noise you hear in here is because I'm in the basement and the dehumidifier was running and all that stuff. But and my and my MacBook is running because I'm capturing video now. But this thing is completely silent. Uh, it's beautiful. Um, anyways, uh, that's all I want to say about this. I'm really happy about it. I see why it's so highly ranked on Amazon. Uh, I think I will give it uh, five stars as well based on my experience. And um, it's a good little machine. Check it out, especially with the coupon right now that brings it under two hundred dollars. I think it's a great deal. All right, guys. Uh, hopefully you found this helpful, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.